so I'm working on painting this beautiful old settee that I picked up um, doing my first crack at fabric painting. It's going very well so far so I'm just doing the first coat. So what I did is I went through just sanded and uh, cleaned with the TSP alternative all of the wood on the piece and then I vacuumed the fabric. Then I sprayed it down with a little bit of water just to get it a little bit damp. Then I have decided to go with the main color of Renfrew Blue here. And so um, I am mixing this. I've mixed it two parts water to one part paint. And you can see it's just liquid, it's like water, um, which is what you want. So this will go in and actually soak into the fabric and dye it. So we don't want that paint sitting up on top of the fabric. We want to get it right in there. So this is an incredibly messy process um, because this is so watery. I would suggest making sure when you do it that you are away from anything that matters. I'm just here in my workshop, so it does not matter if I get paint on my floor or if I spray it around a little bit. I don't have any finished pieces near me. I only have in, uh, pieces waiting to be done that are close to me. So if I get a bit of spray on those, I don't mind. Um, but now, this is sort of a little bit of a lifted nap on this fabric. I'm not 100% sure what it is, probably polyester of some sort. Um, when I was doing some of the research, they suggested perhaps this wasn't the best fabric to try it on. Um, that often like flatter fabrics like cotton or canvas would be better. But, you know, I really wanted to do this, so I'm going for it. Uh, worst case scenario, you know. I'll actually have to try some upholstery skills and recover. But so far, so good. I'm pretty happy with how it's going. We'll check back in again later when I have more done. So there's the first coat on there. As you can see, it's not perfect, um, but I don't think it should be considering that we've got two parts water to one part paint. So it's very, very watery, um, but it has soaked in quite nicely. So I will leave that to dry while I move around and work on the front. Once it's totally dry, what I'm going to do is just come in with some very fine grit sandpaper and just knock all this down just to make sure that the pile um, is all laying flat again so I don't have it going in weird directions, which I think is probably why the suggestion is that this isn't the best fabric to paint. But I, I don't know, I'm super happy with this first coat. The rest of it goes as well as this. I think we're gonna have a beautiful piece. All right, the first coat is on. So that was the two parts water to the one part paint. Um, it's soaking in really nicely. I'm shocked at how well it actually covered given the type of fabric and the mix of the, or the ratio I should say of the paint and water. So there's the back, it's starting to dry. I like how the pieces that are like embossed in there are still standing out. I think that looks really cool. So uh, see how it looks after the second coat, but I'm excited. I'm back again. We're going to uh, start part four of the video now. Um, I've left this for about, I don't know, an hour and a half, I guess, two hours. And it's pretty dry. It's a couple of damp spots here and there, but not bad. So you can see how the paint has settled into the sort of the texture, which is totally good. We're going to do a second coat, but first of all, I'm going to go in with a very fine sanding spud, sponge, really lightly go over it just to knock down some of the pile that's sitting up. Um, for instance, over here a bit, you can see the piles up a little bit here. So I have a sanding sponge here. It is an ultra fine a, between a grit 800 and 1000. So like I said, very, very fine. And all I'm just going to do is just really light go over that. And when I do that, it just smooths right out. It feels incredible. smooth as can be now. It's beautiful. So I'll carry on with this and we'll check back in after I get the second coat on. Okay, second coat is on. It really is looking beautiful. Obviously it looks patchy right now because 
it's drying, but I am incredibly happy with this. There's the back of it, looking gorgeous. This color comes off a little bit more blue, I find, on the video than it is. It's definitely more of a green. It's a great dark teal, in case none of you have used the Fusion Mineral Paint Renford Blue before. It's a really beautiful color. I don't know for sure what I'm doing with the arms. Most likely going to go with a really bright color on the arms, probably like a bright orange or something because I'm feeling it and it'll be fun. Um, that is unless, you know, somebody wants to buy it before I finish and then they can tell me what color to do the arms and legs. Yeah, I am a fan of this. I'm gonna let it sit dry now. I'm closed Sunday, Monday. So when I come back in on Tuesday, it'll be ready for the last coat uh, of just straight paint. And then probably Tuesday afternoon, I will get the wax coat on it. Can't wait to see how it goes and then I'll sand down the arms and legs and paint those. The last coat of paint is on the fabric and then I did another light sand just to knock it down a little bit. It was really really rough. Um, it felt very scratchy so I knocked it down with some uh, 320 grit sandpaper really lightly over the whole thing. That helped a lot. Then I went in and I waxed it and uh, the wax is still sort of curing right now, but it's very soft and silky now, which is just what I was hoping for. So tomorrow I'm gonna go through, buff it up, see if I wanna do another coat of wax. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. Um, and then I'll get started on the arms and the legs and then this beauty will be done. Stay tuned.